I have been getting some great reactions with my Zoom shows uh, with this really cool interactive trick. I say to someone, hey, can you help me out here? As I deal through the cards, okay, I'm going to do deal a few piles. And as I deal through them, I want you to say stop, okay? And they say stop. There. I say fine. That's the first one. Let's do it again. I'm going to deal through the cards. And as I do, you say stop. And they say stop there. I say great. I say, so what are we done? We've done about, uh, we're almost through about half the pack. Maybe a, a little bit more than half the pack. Stop me once, stop me twice, let's try it again. Now I'm going to deal through the cards, okay? And as I do, you say stop. I say stop there, and I say one last time, very slowly, I'm going to deal through the cards, you say stop. And let's say they say stop here. Think and agree, that's crazy fair. Stop, 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 stop. And I, then I ask them at that point, I say, is there any particular reason why you stop me here and here and here? And they say no. I say, well, because I got a sense when you were doing it that you might know what you're doing better than even you think. Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, and finally, of course, Ace of Spades. So this is a stop trick essentially on steroids because they do it four times. You arrive at the four aces and it is so magical and so direct. I'm going to reveal the secret to you guys right now, okay? Uh, it's a combination of a few different principles, works really well. I'm going to reveal the secret in just a moment here. On this video, I'm also going to be giving away, giving you a chance to win a uh, grand opening. Now, as with all my offers here on YouTube, you can always check them out at sankeymagic.com. It's my merchandise site. You'll find the preview for grand opening. Grand opening is very cool. Uh, it is a small piece of plastic that looks, it's a specially printed piece of plastic that looks uh, like a folded card. Um, and you can even hand it out. People can take a look at it. It's a piece of plastic. looks like a folded card. Then a moment later, after they picked a card, you visually unfold the piece of plastic. Uh, even though they just examined it, sometimes I wave a lighter under it, warm it up a bit, and unfold it into the selected card. The card can even be signed. So you can have a card selected, signed, and it turns out to be the piece of plastic. Very cool trick uh, based on my uh, uh, sort of very popular trick, paperclip. It's called Grand Opening. This is your chance to win, okay? And I'm also going to announce the winners in just a second. Uh, last week, my last video, I did any product was the prize. So you guys had a chance to leave comments and choose any Sankey Magic product. So in just a moment, I'm gonna announce those as well. But first, let me, let me do the grand opening question right now. Here it is. What are you looking forward to doing when this whole darn COVID thing is over? A lot of countries in the world are opening up the, the sort of the, the uh, their, you know, the restaurants, the bars, uh, the parks, things are loosening up a little bit. Me, you know what I'm looking forward to? Going to a movie. I wanna hit, sit, a front row center with like 400 people, air conditioned popcorn, and just watch a movie. I can't wait to do that. So leave a comment down below for your chance to win one of my grand opening. I'm going to give away 12 like I do every week. Leave a comment down below and tell me what's something you're looking forward to doing, okay, once this whole COVID thing is finally over. Leave a comment, your chance to win. All right, let's jump in here and I'm going to show you some of the techniques here. Then we're going to come back and announce the winners of the any product promote um, sort of contest I did in my last video. For this, you need, uh, it's an ordinary pack of cards. There's no gimmicks, okay? You could even do it with a borrowed deck. Now, if you're doing a Zoom show or something, obviously you're gonna own, use your own deck. But you need, uh, and if you did it with a borrowed deck, you'd secretly have to get the, the aces or the jacks, the kings, where you need them to be, which in this case is either on top or bottom, all right? The reason why it's on top or bottom, let's assume it's on top for now. Okay, got the four aces on top. Now, it's definitely the kind of trick you want to sh start by giving the deck a shuffle. And this looks like I'm giving the cards a very thorough shuffle. No one would, even on, you know, even on, um, okay, color change there. Um, uh, even just on the camera, it looks like a legit sh shuffle. You give the cards a cut, whatever. Okay, here, and my favorite false cut here like this. And boom, if you start like that, now everybody's convinced the deck is shuffled, all right? Even though they get to call stop four, and they do all of it, if you can start with a bit of a shuffle or even a simple false cut, it goes a long way. Now, what I was doing there to retain the aces on top is I was doing a in the hands riffle shuffle, and as I shuffle them, I'm just making sure that this last stock of five, six, seven cards doesn't get shuffled in. Okay, so that's what I was doing there, and the false cut, I do a double undercut where I cut the cards, keep a break with my thumb, right? Riffle off about half the cards, riffle off the other half of the cards, and that keeps everything in the same order, including the aces on top. Now, 
I'm going to double undercut the top two aces to the bottom of the deck. Just a couple of cuts. Same before, I had a break under the top two. A couple of cuts there at the bottom. This is really your start position. Doesn't matter the order. Two aces on top, two aces on bottom. Now, I say I'm going to deal through the cards, and as I deal through, I want you to call stop. And I've already set them up visually to fall for the illusion. Because I'm going to deal the top card legitimately off, okay? But the next card is going to be a second deal. Now, let's take a few moments here. I'm pushing the thumb. With this thumb, I strike just above it. Note the angle here. It's not straight off to the side. It's not way back there. It's, I don't know, what is it? Is it a 45 degree angle? That's it there. Just enough for my thumb to comfortably strike there. And I pull back. So push, pull, push. So the top card is essentially, I'm just putting the, uh, enough pressure that the top card is almost glued or stuck to my left thumb. Now, if I'm dealing it like this, you wouldn't see anything, okay? But if I tilt my hand back a little bit, like I would if I'm seated comfortably, now there is nothing to see. You could even keep the card kicked back the entire time, but I advise you because you're going to want to use the second deal in other places, don't be lazy, push-pull, push-pull, okay? So that's one of the core techniques I'm using here. So let's back this whole thing up and get back to where we need to be. Let's see. We got two aces on bottom. We've got two aces on top, okay? And everything else is in the middle. You've just apparently shuffled the deck. So I do the first deal and let them see it. I mean, you could go right into the second thing, but I think it's nice to show this first one, okay? Then I'm gonna second deal, boom. And you say stop whenever you want. They say stop at some point. You go, great, square them, I'm putting them there. Note, I'm tilting slightly to my right. Cheating it, rather than doing straight on here, I'm turning slightly and dealing. The piles are gonna end up slightly to my right. That all covers the second deal very nicely. So that's the first pile. Okay, and I've been able to get the ace on the bottom. The second time I do it, you get a break, because you're only gonna use the second deal on two of the four piles, which is kind of fun. Because you, you've done your hard work, your second deal. Now you're gonna put this one down. It is the ace you've kept the entire time. And deal normally, but you want them to look as similar as possible. But it's a nice break they call stop there. Important at the start here, say I'm gonna deal a few piles. So if someone's getting you to go through 15 or 20, you could use the classic line anytime today, or you know we gotta do a few more piles. Get them to hurry it up, right? So now I've got second ace on the bottom. Now I pause, and I said, gone through about half the deck here, about half the deck, and as I'm looking at them, I get a break above the bottom two cards here. So I'm spreading them out long enough on the bottom two cards. Like, oh, we've done about half the deck so far. And I get a break with my thumb, and again, double undercut the cards to the top. So I've got my two aces there like that. Before I show the last two parts of it, let's jump in here with the, wi the winners of la uh, last week's Any Product. If I name your name now, send an email to my team. It's contact at Sankey Magic. Give them your YouTube name, your real name, and your shipping address. And let them know which product. And you can change your mind. But basically, if I say your name now, you have a choice of any Sankey Magic product. Just email my team. Let them know the product you want. We will ship it to you. Okay? So it's your choice. Kind of a fun one this week. Here are the winners. Blood Gain. Whoa. Blood Gain. Uh, H-Bomb. Nice. Craig David. Ian Robinson. 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 Ian. John Kanchi. Kanach. C-A-N-C-H-E. Kanchi. Uh, Yannick Link. I guess he likes those linking right. Samuel Dempsey. Justin Pullen. Uh, the Gin Rummy. Rummy or Rummy. Uh, D-J-I-N Rummy. Tanner J. Excess Frost and Solomon Dale. You 12 won. Okay, congratulations. Send an email to my team as always. Okay, this last one. So I've just double cut the aces to the top and I'll repeat the same action. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. First one is say, got one, one, two. Okay, here we go. Deal legitimate, then the second deals. They call stop. That's fine. This last one is waiting here. And again, now this last one, you deal legitimate, okay? There's no second deals here this time. That was only the first one. These are all legitimate, no second deals, but I want them to look like that. So rather than doing this, you can say stop any time you want, which, you know, has a different feeling than those. Here you go in. One last time, I'm gonna deal through. You say stop whenever you want. They 
tall strong. The goal here is to have all four look identical. So fair. With or without a false shuffle at the beginning. Presentationally, you can say, you know, why did you feel that way? Or ask this class a question. Do you ever play poker? And they go, no, or yes, or whatever they do. They say no. You say slow turn to those. Boom. Well, something tells me you should be playing poker a bit more often. Okay. And of course, they say yes. Yes, I play poker. You say, well, I'm not surprised to hear that because obviously you're really very good. Boom, boom, boom. So you produce the four aces like that. Wonderful card trick. Real organic. Lots of surprise. This builds. And remember, don't get ahead of it. You've seen the trick. They never have. When you deal out the four piles, we're magicians. We like card tricks. We're thinking, is it a four-card revelation? Maybe the four jacks? Or They're not thinking that. They're thinking pile, pile, pile. Oh, is this the three rows, 15 card trick thing that my brother did is lame. They're not thinking. So when you go like this, they're not immediately thinking the four other races, but by now they might be, okay? So work on your pacing on the reveal. Slowly, a little quicker, a little quicker. Even the last two, it's all about build. It's all about theater. You've done these two. And remember, if you're doing it for the camera, you want to make sure that's a single. You want to make sure you hold them up for the camera. The last two, you pick them up as one, just like this. And of course, you can boom, Vegas man, bum, 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 bum.